there we go. Yeah, just press space. And so here we are at the bottom of the Amazon reef. We are approaching uh, what looks to be a large mound. Um, this has been a fairly sandy area. It's been very mixed. I think one of the defining characteristics of the Amazon reef so far is that it's not just one type of habitat, but many. We've seen some sandy areas, algae, uh, large coral beds, a lot of sponges in some areas, and even um, really tall walls with yellow sponges. So this looks like a new type of kind of micro habitat. Um, I think it might be a mound that is actually built by fish. They collect these rotoliths, which are sort of stony structures built of calcareous algae. And they assemble these mounds to create habitat which will attract other fish, uh, small invertebrates like arrow crabs, peppermint shrimp, and brittle stars. And basically it's almost like a garden for them. They're, uh, they're almost growing their own food. So let's see what we can find. I can see what looks like uh, parrotfish, some pygmy angelfish, maybe I think it might be a triggerfish, uh, a damselfish. You see some some of these are, are territorial. They'll find a spot on this mound and they will protect it. They'll make it their own. And on top, if you see those dark balls, uh, those look like they might be basket stars, which is pretty exciting. When they, at night, you'll see them open up their arms and they can be uh, as much as five feet or almost two meters across and they spread out their arms and they're feeding on plankton and other small things that are floating by. But this is just beautiful. It looks like an aquarium with these brightly colored fish. We have a pretty high diversity, quite a few different kinds. Uh, that one with the yellow tail, I think that's a damselfish. Really nice spot. And here we are, you know, in the middle of the ocean, far from shore, out on the Amazon reef, where before now, no one had any idea this was here. Very cool. And of course, at the same time, we have oil companies that want to start drilling in the area, which obviously would put all of this at risk before we really even understand what we have. Um, now you can see the green lasers that we use. These are called indexing lasers. They're very low power. They don't have any threat to the fish or to people. Um, they're only there to help the science team measure what's in the video so we can actually get a pretty good indication of the size of individual fish and ultimately um, an estimate of the biomass, how much overall fish there is in the, in the image. You can also see, you can see a little bit of the shadow there. So this is um, from the lights that we bring down. We're actually far, we're deep enough that there isn't a lot of light from the surface. We have some, but we have four banks of LED lights with us to help uh, help us see what's happening down there. Really impressive visibility, something like 70 feet maybe, um, which is unexpected because we're still near the plume of the Amazon and we thought maybe uh, it wouldn't be able to see anything at all. One of the real concerns with the oil drilling is that if there is a spill, it would basically cover everything on the bottom. Uh, in areas of the Gulf of Mexico after the Deepwater Horizon spill, it basically turned it into a parking lot uh, where it, oil just completely covered over the bottom, killing everything on the seafloor. And even today, if you go back to some of those spots, it will really look almost exactly like a parking lot, just black asphalt, no life at all. There are also real concerns that this oil will spread for hundreds of miles at, at a minimum, maybe even thousands of miles because of the strong currents in the area. It will affect not just the coastal communities and the mangroves and the reefs of Brazil, but it will spread to French Guiana, for example. Uh, so it's going to impact not just these reefs, but um, the nursery areas, the mangroves that supply fish for the whole region and uh, will impact the livelihoods of, of people all across Brazil and even, even French Guiana.